You see this? This is what I like to hear. Since I've become a content creator and started making content online, the type of content we see is almost intentionally because of the algorithm as divisive as possible. So with all the... I hesitate to call it dating advice, but yeah. With all that vitriol and gender dynamics and men do this, women say this, back and forth, we're conditioned to see a sort of monolithic view of how men and women are. See, we're human beings. We're very complex. What makes a man or a woman? A man is just a boy old enough to ask the question. What makes me a man? I have facial hair. I mean, I'm sure a lot of women in my town have facial hair. Beauty standards just impose them to shave it, hide it. That is a double standard that is not imposed upon us men. Look through my fucking videos. I've got thousands of them. I got four different TikTok accounts, each with like 6,000 videos on them. A YouTube with 3,000 videos, an Instagram with like 1,500 videos, and a second YouTube channel with probably between five and 800 videos. I'm a fucking bum half the time. Yeah, as content creators on here, women content creators, other women authors, it doesn't even matter about the political side of TikTok. They get judged, critiqued, and harassed on their appearance all day long. No one says shit about me being unshaven and in my pajamas half the time. Like, bleach stain on my shirt, pajama pants, and the shoes I use to cut grass in. And it goes so much further than that with the beauty standards of makeup, weight, everything else that we impose upon women. Whether inadvertently or vertently, I'm, I'm really fucking high right now. Anywho, my point is, when it goes to the relationship level, it's just... Women really aren't asking for that much. Like, seriously, when your partner is reading or doing the dishes or something, don't just walk up to them and be like, Hey, wanna fuck? Here's a little thought experiment. If you are truly a good parent and you care about your kids, view your partner through the same lens of compassion that you would view your kids. You want to fulfill their needs and wants, because that's what it all comes down to. Yes, men act a certain way, but women think another way. Stimulate their fucking mind. Don't put the onus of all the housework, dishes, taking care of the kids, all on her. Talk to her with purposeful intent to hear about her day, because wouldn't you want that too? Encourage them in their struggles, their insecurities, and their happiness. Treat people like people you love and you'll reconcile like they did. The bar's fucking low.